Happy Triple Force Friday! Hello, and welcome to Community Custom episode number four. And it's Triple Force Friday! Woohoo! Oh, it's Wednesday. But for you today, it's Triple Force Friday and happy shopping. And I hope you all get what you want. So, yeah, I mean, you guys have been submitting your submissions to me, I guess. And I must admit, today feels a bit of a special episode. I mean, every week is special, and what you guys make, and some of you have been making purely customs, just purely for the episodes as well, which I think is amazing. But today, for me, it's kind of like, there's a few sort of uh, good ones today that I just, I don't know, it feels a little bit hit to home. And thank you all so much that making me get to 800 subs. Really amazing, nearly swirling. But it, yeah, I, I mean, it just seems like the other week that I was sat here saying about thanks for getting me to 100 subs. Like, thank you so much. And I, I look so nervous in that video. I mean, I'm still nervous now when I do this. Cause it's just me in a room next to my Lego. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. Like, getting me to, getting me to, to where I am, you know, it's not like, oh wow, like, he's amazing now. It, it's like feeling privileged and sort of acknowledged and, you know, and just sort of bringing those things out there. And it's actually doing a hobby thing that I actually really enjoy doing as well. Just talking about Star Wars, playing with my toys, and you guys watch. It's amazing. Anyway, without further ado, we'll crack on to these uh, community customs. And I must admit, there's some shiners tonight. So, First of all, Teddy Bear Jedi. Now he's made from an archive kind of body Yoda. He's got a new head sculpt and he's put on a new head and he's painted it green, obviously, because it's Yoda. But he's gone for the facial, you know, facial painting and everything on that and he's actually brought it to life. We've got a prequel black series Yoda, which everyone wants. No one wants that old ragged little Yoda walking around. We want this Yoda to go with our Obi-Wans, Mace Windus, and Anakin Skywalkers. Truly, this is a little bit of modern art, I think. Like, really well done, Teddy Bear, because that is absolutely amazing. Next up, we got Stigma Custom Collectibles, and he's made a Lear Endor figure. And. <sighs> Again, like this is where things are start hitting home. It's not like everyone's not great and all that, but I watch Mike, as you all know, and um, his description, his channel's down below. And Stigma appears on his show quite often, making customs and whatnot. And I feel so privileged that he's now on mine. It, it it's, it's surreal. But guys, he's made this Endor Lear from, I think it's, it kind of looks a bit like a Jin Erso's body with old Lear sort of legs and arms and also young Lear from uh, Empire Strikes Back. He's just put them all together and he's created this, you know, it just, it looks great and it annoys me that someone can just do this in their, at their home and Hasbro have all these parts and they, can, they could just produce this right now as another vehicle and a speed of bike because that Another, again, is a piece of art. So mate, well done. Thank you. Up next is Imperial Lemon, and another great custom. I love this one. I remember when I first saw it and we started talking, because this Jump Trooper Clone Commander Cody just looks great. It's like as if he's transcended from into the Imperial ranks. And I love this idea. I love this kind of thing. And you know everyone knows that I love the clones, but the Imperials, is also a big massive like way to my heart. It's a bit like a hot roast. These customs with these combinations, ah, oh, just love it. And just the way he's standing, you've got the jump troop, you've got all those patterns, and he's still got his signature orange stripes and all that. Mate, superb work. Well done. And up next is Brick Top Vader, and he's made a ghost trooper from a Death Star Troop, no, Death Trooper Bandai kit. Now, you know, he's, he's, his first kind of sort of time that attempting the Bandai kit, he's done a couple, but this is his first time he's done a custom creation and painting it as well. And yeah, he just went to town, he started off with a spray gun as well, 
and actually recreated this really well. And you know, for a first time attempt with a spray gun and just creating the Bandai kit and all, you know, that looks great. And that's definitely like an Imperial character I would love on my shelf as well. So mate, well done. And up next is the feature of the week, I guess, because we always seem to be having, is DIY Star Wars dioramas. And today he's actually created Dexter's Diner from episode two. And it's 3.75 size sort of scale. And as you can see the transition of the, how he made it, and it's actually made from lollipop sticks. Who would have thought? Diner lollipop sticks. Your imagination, mate, is crazy. And making that looking quite authentic looks amazing. And again, another well done. Just this week, you guys are really topping up that notch, I tell you. And up next, again, is Believe in Blight. And he's made a phase one clone trooper, a Bengal trooper. Bengal? Bengal. Bengal trooper. Like the tiger. And it's his own creation as well. You know, it's not like, oh, he's got a regiment. Oh, I'm going to put that there. He's actually created this guy. He's put the fur around on his pauldron. He's got a massive, like, minigun blaster. He's got the orange and the black stripes. And it's just, the weathering's just over the top, just all right, you know, not enough to take away from that nice bright orange as well. And yeah, and I think like the Bengal Tiger, as a clone regiment, is a brilliant name. I think it's amazing. So, mate, well done, because that is great. And up next is G Miles Art on Instagram. And when I first started on Instagram, I saw this guy's work, and absolutely, I thought, wow, like his work, I mean, if you go and follow him on Instagram, he looks like he works in a paint shop. He's just got all these paints and everything everywhere. You know, everything looks neat, pristine, because when I do it, literally I've got pots here everywhere. Even when I did Boba Fett's cape the other day, I dropped it in gold paint. But with him, it looks pristine, he's got gloves on and everything, it just, everything just looks amazing. And he's created, this Death Trooper in the sort of green camo kind of urban type thing, he sort of like brought it into the real world and he's added all the extra debris on there. And it, yeah, it's just, I mean, the finished work on that looks great and it's like that green matte finish on there. And mate, all I can say is thank you for appearing on the channel because that is amazing. Up next is Death Trooper 208 and he's created, well, it's, it's the 501st figure, and this is what I like about customization because you don't have to go crazy, you don't have to go out there and create your own kind of thing or put anything to it. It's from a shiny black series trooper, you simply just wanted another 501st trooper. So he's put all the paints on there and he's weathered it up a little bit more as well, and he's you know, and just put it on your shelf just to create that army building. And you know, I think a lot of people think like you're gonna have to go mentally crazy to think of these new original ideas but simply just doing this is you know it's great I mean they've got the straight lines and the weathering it's brilliant so mate well done and up next is I, I can't this is where I can't believe we're getting up to on this now we've got custom for the kit and he's created the Padawans or younglings from the Clone Wars now I watched this guy and used to watch some of like on the forums and stuff as well. I used to look at this stuff before I even started YouTube and before I even done my own customs because I love the Clone Wars and I used to go, oh, I wish I could do that, I wish I'd do this and that. And I mean, there's no way that like, on this level it's amazing. These younglings look like they are perfect figures. They're 3.75 and they're even shorter to be at to, to the sort of like the sort of child size of a normal regular 3.75 so amazing and thinking that now I'm talking about customs of the kid on my channel mind blown must admit so thank you so much and also last but no means definitely not least is Ace Toy Photography and he's created Commando Stormtrooper from Force Unleash now this means a lot 
because I messaged him the other week because he bought four from the entertainer, just the normal Stormtroopers, and I said, oh, you should uh, customize one. And he's never done it before. And literally, today, he surprised me by sending me a picture of these that he actually took my word and he created these. I mean, it's not my word, but, you know, just having that to, for someone to sort of make and then send that as a picture to you to say like, oh, I, I did try what you said, is beyond belief, amazing. I mean, this guy, go and follow him on Instagram because his pictures of his toy photography is absolutely amazing. The smoke and the atmospheric, the aliens and the Clone Marine pictures are great. But for making this, I just, I think it's absolutely superb and really kudos mate for actually going in and going for it and making this because now you've got the bug and it's like getting a tattoo because it's a bit nerve wracking when you first go in for it and then you think, do you know what, I'm going to do it again. So mate, well done. And that's it for this week guys, that's the 10 customs that are featuring this week. You can submit more customs to me to show for next week and if you have submitted then I guarantee they will be for next week. And that's it, I mean we're going to get into the news now to have a look at, uh, well, Triple Force Friday news I guess, but I suppose it might be a little bit old news to you, so I'll just keep it on the low. And um, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> Welcome to the news. I mean, it's Triple Force Friday and Hasbro is still dropping stuff like I've taken two laxatives. So first up, we've got a better look at the Return of the Jedi, six inch Jabba's Palace kind of Return of the Jedi look. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks good. He's out of the packet, he looks all right. I kind of zoomed in a little bit as well and it does look like a rubbery material over that top. So I'm hoping that we might be able to remove it. But again, still speculations. So still not 100% sure, but he looks good. And then next up, we've got C-3PO and Baba Freak. So we've got a better look at him now. In these pictures though, he hasn't got the bow cast and he hasn't got the uh, Chewbacca kind of bandolier. So I wonder whether they either took it away because it gave away too, away too much, or he wasn't supposed to have it at all. And it's just showing that it's got the new articulation with his hands maybe. But um, yeah, he looks good, you know, you can get into the back of his head. And then we've got Baba Freak as well. And he's got like a little movable sort of welding mask on there as well. So, you know, and see Freako looks quite good actually. He looks a lot better than the last ones we've had. So, well done Hasbro. And also, it was confirmed last week that we had Commander Fox. And here he is in the flesh. And apparently, you might already have him now. So. Kudos to you guys that have got him already because he looks fantastic. He's another one in addition to my collection in no time at all. And also, coming out of nowhere, Wedge Antilles. What? Where's this guy come from? He does kind of look like a head swap with Luke's sort of uh, outfit and stuff on there, but uh, yeah, it looks all right. I mean, do I think it looks like Daniel Lawson? No, he kind of looks a bit like the guy that stood up in the Avin and said like, we can't hit those targets, they're no bigger than two meters. Who was also supposed to be Wedge Antilles, but they used the American actor. And I think he looks more like him than he actually looks like Wedge in the uh, cockpits. And then out of nowhere today, it, well, Emperor Strikes Back, Chewbacca and C-3PO. Just like the old Kenner line. C-3PO is dismemberable, so he can take all his limbs off. And I think they must be extra attachments that you can put onto his arms and stuff there to make him look like a little bit thing because otherwise it looks a bit too bulky. And apparently this isn't an Amazon exclusive. I mean, C-3PO looks great. Chewbacca looks all right, but I zoomed in on his face and it looks a little bit, I don't know, looks a bit weird. And the hair's wrong as well because that's the Emperor Strikes Back hair. Um, sorry, Return of Jedi hair. But uh, it looks amazing nonetheless anyway as a, as a set. So, and that's it really guys. I mean, I hope you've had a really good Triple Force Friday. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you've got any kind of sort of like submissions that you would like to give to me, then follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description. And everyone that's featured today, 
the link is in the description down below. And also, nearly forgot, massive shout out to Yakface and Kylo Collector, for without them, we would be in the mist and not knowing too much about what's going on from Hasbro. So, for everyone out there, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.